Hi guys, this is Penny Henry from Create for Christ Designs. I'm going to do try something different today for you. A friend of mine saw me do a charm, and I promised her I would make her one and show her how to make it. Um, so, I am going to try to show you today how I make charms. I'm going through and getting a few of my things that I use on charms when I make them. Uh, to make them, um, you know, like drop down better or whatever. Um, I think I want to use an, eh, an angel. I dropped something. I think I, maybe I'll use one of my bigger angels. Okay. Um, I wanted, hmm, I wonder if I'm out of them. I wanted to put a made with love that I put on everything I make for people. Give me one second here. I may be out. I guess I'm out. I may have to put it on later if I happen to find some or buy some more. Um, so I'm using a, key, a ring to put it on with a lobster claw. I'm using an easy open ring. Not sure I'll use all this, but this is mostly what I usually use. I'm using a drop down that I like to use in them. I've got some lobster, some tiny lobster claws here to hook things to that ring. And then I have some jump rings pulled. Because sometimes I like things to be at different levels. And those jump rings will help me to do that. Now, the ones I think I'm going to use is this tassel, which was actually an earring. And she likes peachy colors. So maybe I'll use a peach rose and I'm going to use a turquoise angel. I don't know if you can see that. It's a turquoise angel and I think I'm going to use a, hmm, a little cross. So. I think that's enough for this one. I like to put different things together so that um, so that it looks balanced and everything. So here we go. We have the earring, we have the rose, we have the cross, and we have the angel. And what I do is to start with is take, I'm going to have to open these. I can't find my jump ring. I had this little ring that opens my jump rings for me, but I can't find it. So I'm going to use these forceps. They work well. And my pliers. And open that. And we're going to put a jump ring on this angel. I'm sorry, not this angel, on this uh, tassel, which was an earring. And I like to make sure they're tight together. So that one's good and tight, so it won't come off. And then we have this, I guess this one I didn't take the thing off when I took it off the card. But we have this little peach rose. And I think I'm going to want to make this drop down some. No, I think what, I know what I'm going to do here. I'm going to attach this. These things are really tight. These lobster claws that you buy. There we go. And I'm going to attach that to... It already had one. Never mind. I'm not going to do that with this one then. Okay. Sorry, guys. This is the first time I've ever done one on 
one of my crafts online. I do all kinds of crafts, but I've never done one for a camera before. I'm going to take this little drop down. I, I think I bought it in part of an earring, uh, as part of an earring set uh, findings. But anyway, I'm going to put that rose on there so it'll drop down to being close to the same as the tassel. Then I'm going to, the cross is long, so I'm going to go ahead and just put, uh, it's got a, it's got a jump ring on it already. So I just have to open this jump ring. And again, I will use my forceps here to hold it for me. Then I will put... <clears throat> That's why I take out a bunch of them. I always drop them. And it's hard for me to bend, so I don't want y'all to see me bending over to get it. There we go. Then I'll use the forceps. And bring it back together. Okay. And I think what I'm going to do with that one is also attach it to this little one. And another thing I found is a lot of times they'll turn around on you. And I don't want that. I don't want my pretty ones to look, you know, the, the pretty side of it to show, not the other side. So anyway, there's that. And then last, I've got an angel here. And I already have a jump ring on that. But what I'm going to do... Let's see, where's she going to be? I'm going to make her drop down just a little bit more by putting another jump ring on it. So again, I'm going to take my four sips, I'm going to take my pliers and open that jump ring. I'm going to put the jump ring on the ring that I already have on there which is another jump ring. Well, maybe I'm going to. And put that right there. And then close it up. All right, and now I will put a lobster claw in it. And why did I close that up before I put the lobster claw? I told you I've never done this before. I mean, I make them all the time. I just never done it for you guys. Okay. So let's put a lobster claw in this one. Okay. Then I'll close up the lobster claw. I mean, I'll close up that jump ring that I put on there that I put the lobster claw on. And again, I like it to be really tight here. So it doesn't come open. I used to have a fusing tool. It was a cold fusion. I don't know where it went. But I would uh, fuse that together once I had it done. And I'm going, I'm going to also add that to this drop down here. Okay, so there's the three charms that I put on the drop down. And then I'm going to take this and put it here, I believe. And then I'll put it on here. Like that. And I will put this one. These lobster claws are a pain. I'm going to put it on here. Maybe. Maybe not. We'll put it on this one. Okay. There's more than one way to skin a cat. And that's not it. But I know how to do it. I'll open this ring up here. And I'll take this and put it right there. 
And there you are. You have a charm to put on your Bible or whatever. See, I'll show you one I already made. I made this one for my tablet. It's just tassels and um, a cross. Koala, because I, I collect koalas. And uh, I got an angel in there. And a pretty cross. I don't know if you can see me. I can't see me. So there's another. So there's that one. And I have these two that I made for my Bible covers. It's just crosses and different things I put together. And this one is just some tassels and different things I put together. So. Let me know if you like things like this. I, I do all kinds of jewelry making. so uh, And I'm going to be ma making some bracelets for my grandchildren. Um, so just let me know if you like these things. And I'll do them on the, uh, on the video for you. And hopefully figure out how to make my phone work. So that I can see what I'm... That you can see what I'm doing. Alright? This is Penny, Create for Christ Designs. If you like this, like it, comment, subscribe, and push that bell to see more. Talk to you later. Bye.